So for the stalk, it's really easy. You're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Find the second chain from the hook. So again, you skip the one the yarn comes through. So the loop on your hook doesn't count. You've got this one here that the yarn is coming through. The next one is the second one. And you're going to put three double crochets in there. So one, two, three. Then you find the next one and do the same again. One, two, three. And the next one, and it starts to twirl. You can feel it sort of spiraling. Can you see how it's behind you? Again, this is something you can play around. Next one, so three in every one, basically. You can play around with a taller one just by doing more chains, shorter one by doing less for a bit of variety. So three, and then finally, three in this one. Boom. Fasten off, leaving a longish tail. Can you see it's made a big twirl? Okay. You just hold it so you can see what you're looking at. And then you can be as thorough or as less thorough as you want with weaving in the end. You can guess which strategy I took. I put both ends together onto my needle. So whoops, threading both on at the same time. like so and then pushing it from the top down to the bottom pull them both through there we go it's in position back up again and just catch a bit more of it catch a bit of the base so it's nice and firm and then because you've got the toy stuffing in there so it's all sort of getting all felted together just pushing it back down once more is going to be enough. You can do it more though if you want to. And then just snip it off at the bottom here. So don't worry about the fact it's coming through the bottom because then a bit of movement and the ends disappear and it's stuck in. Whoops, turn my mouse the right way around.